Hi everyone, today I got invited to join Verda. Verda is a company that focuses on reversing type 2 diabetes. So I started doing a little bit of research. I mean, I figure I'll join because what the heck, it's free. They're going to give me a personalized nutrition plan. And apparently it emphasizes low carbohydrate, high fat diets, you know, keto. But it's supposed to be tailored around each individual's needs, preferences, medical conditions, etc. It's very big on monitoring. They're going to send me tools to measure my blood glucose, ketones, my weight, and I guess personalize my approach based on what they find. They also have an app, of course, and I'm supposed to fill out and put information into that app every day. The interesting thing is that I'm also supposed to get a personal health coach, and uh, they're supposed to be pretty much available when I need them. So they're supposed to help me form my good habits and help keep me accountable, kind of like what I'm trying to do here, keeping myself accountable doing the videos. So I'm on their website now, and here's what they say. How does Verta work? Verta addresses the underlying causes of type 2 diabetes using a highly individualized approach to carbohydrate intake and nutritional ketosis, accounting for each person's unique biochemistry, medications, and lifestyle. Most people living with diabetes see their medical provider every 6 to 12 months. Verda has reinvented the diabetes care model by providing members with continuous technology-enabled remote care from Verda medical providers who are experts in safely reducing and eliminating diabetes medications. They say, our safety and efficacy has been proven in a large-scale clinical trial, which demonstrated the safe reversal of type 2 diabetes, prediabetes, and metabolic syndrome without the use of surgery or pharmaceuticals. Most members see meaningful results in a matter of weeks, and they are able to sustain the access with the support of their Verda health coach and medical provider. I haven't gotten any of that yet. I'm just filling out the paperwork, but I figure, you know, I'm on my health journey. I should share this with the people who are following, and uh, I'll report on it as we go down the line. Uh, just looking some more, they say, what does my Verda medical provider do? Uh, they provide you with metabolic health expertise. They're, your Verda medical provider becomes your metabolic health specialist. Yeah. Note that they don't replace your primary care provider, but they will work with them to ensure your continuity of care. Safety and monitoring. Your Verda medical provider ensures your safety by continuously monitoring your data through the Verda app. Your Verda medical provider manages your diabetes medications, including safely reducing or eliminating any medications you no longer need. That last part concerns me a little bit. I trust my primary care provider. I'm gonna to have to see if I trust them to manage my medications and whether he trusts them to manage my medications. That's a big ask right there. That doesn't mean I won't do it. It's just makes me a little bit uncomfortable. And what does my Verda health coach do? Well, there's a bunch of things they list, but I'll just summarize. Nutritional expertise, positive health habit formation, support and encouragement, feedback and accountability, and this is a mouthful here, Personalized goal-based phases. Try saying that three times fast. Everyone has different needs, so your Verda Health Coach adjusts your path by selecting treatment phases that reflect your health goals. For example, complete seven days with fasting blood glucose under 150. Hey, I'm already doing that. So they're going to send me a starter kit. Here's what's in the starter kit. A body weight scale that automatically transmits its readings to the Verda app. Ooh, impressive. Blood glucose and ketone testing meter. Sure, fine. Ketone and glucose testing strips, lancets, sure you got to have your lancets, alcohol swabs, protein food scale, okay I get that, it's nice to weigh your food, a lot of work, but not that bad, magnesium tablets, I have no idea what that's going to be for, I'll have to let you guys know about that later, bouillon cubes, so I guess they want me to drink a lot of bouillon, interesting, helpful printed Verda materials and references, okay, and a blood pressure cuff as needed. I do have high blood pressure, so I'm probably going to get a cuff. And then another question they have is, is calorie restriction or fasting required? The Verda perspective on intermittent fasting is that it is not necessary to achieve metabolic health. The Verda treatment does not expect patients to count or restrict calories. I already count my calories. I don't necessarily restrict them, but I try to keep them to a dull roar. Is exercise required? Exercise is not required for success on Verda. Well, I'm going to exercise anyway. And it asks, can vegetarian, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, or members with dietary restrictions still do Verda? And they say, absolutely. The Verda treatment is diet agnostic. We personalize that treatment to your individual dietary needs and cultural tastes. Ketosis can be achieved from a variety of different high-fat, moderate protein, and low-carbohydrate plans. And that's all cool. I have done something akin to keto before. This was when my wife was on a diet that they call uh, the diet for life which was essentially a keto diet. They didn't say it was keto, but 
it was essentially, you know, it's the same sort of thing. Low carb, high protein, high fat. So I've been through that before. I did fairly well on it, but it's not particularly pleasant. So we'll see because I'm not going to do a diet that's unpleasant, especially if I'm already losing weight doing what I'm doing. So that's eventually what I know about Verta so far. We'll see how it goes in the long run. I'll definitely report back on what they give me and what they ask me to do and how I feel about it. So for today's numbers, I weighed in at 303.5. That's up a pound from yesterday and up two pounds from the day before. So after that dramatic four and a half pound loss, I've gained back two of them. I'm not super surprised because most of that was because of diarrhea. It wasn't real weight loss. My active calories yesterday were 1,104. Pretty good number, very happy with that. My steps were 13,229, also a good number that I'm very happy with. My blood sugar I made a little bit of a mistake on. I did not do a fasting blood sugar this morning because, because I just forgot. And so I didn't do it until about an hour after eating breakfast. And I got a 147. Considering that was an hour after eating breakfast, I actually consider that a fairly good number. And my calories consumed yesterday was right around 2,000. So I'm staying pretty much on target there. And finally, the Terry Pratchett quote of the day. This one is from I Shall Wear Midnight. Balance. It was all about balance. That had been one of the first things that she had learned. The center of the seesaw was neither up nor down, but upness and downness flow through it while it remains unmoved. You had to be the center of the seesaw so the pain flowed through you, not into you. It was very hard, but she could do it. Thank you, everyone. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. I'll see you tomorrow.